In this proof of concept video, a sniffing attack against the insecure wireless communication of an Arbus SegWest wireless alarm system and its wireless control device FUBE5001 is demonstrated. Due to missing encryption of the wireless communication, an attacker is able to eavesdrop sensitive data like PIN codes or proximity token IDs as clear text. By having access to this sensitive data, it is possible to deactivate the wireless alarm system in an unauthorized way. This security vulnerability, described in our SYS Security Advisory, SYS 2020-14, was found by Michael Rüttgers and Thomas Detert. Based on a software tool used for exploiting a related security issue concerning the Arbus SecWest remote controls FUBE5014 and FUBE5015, two new proof-of-concept tools for performing sniffing attacks against the affected wireless control device FUBE5001 were developed. Here you can see the used test setup with an Arbus SecWest wireless alarm system, a wireless motion detector, the wireless control device and a Yardstick 1 connected to the attacker system. In order to eavesdrop on the wireless communication of the alarm system, the attacker simply starts our developed Python tool. This pin sniffer proof of concept tool listens for specific Arbus data packets on the correct 868 MHz radio frequency used for the wireless communication. Thus, when the alarm system is armed via the wireless control panel, the attacker can receive and decode the corresponding data packet in order to gain access to the used clear text pin code. As a matter of fact, the eavesdrop pin code can be used to disable the wireless alarm system in an unauthorized way. The system is unsat. Besides using a pin code for arming and disarming the Arbus SecWest wireless alarm system, it is also possible to use an RFID token, also called proximity or chip key. For eavesdropping on the wireless communication, the attacker simply starts another developed Python tool. And now, when the RFID token is used with the wireless control device FUBE5001, an attacker can receive and decode the corresponding data packet in order to gain access to the use proximity key ID. By knowing this ID, it is possible to create a cloned RFID token. Here you can see the attacker's blue proximity key without having the correct programmed ID. But this can be changed by using a very user-friendly device from China that enables us to write arbitrary serial numbers to this RFID chip. Please mention the card number. Three, eight, zero, five, nine, six, four, 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 five. Enter the correct card number is three, eight, zero, five, nine, six, four, 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 five. Success! The attacker could deactivate the wireless alarm system with a cloned RFID token using the sniffed proximity key ID in an unauthorized way.